Hello, um, my uh, subscribers. Um, I'm not even on a very jittery, happy note today. It's just, um, I know uh, today, well, since today is uh, Thursday, March the 6th, or if I'm right, uh, March the 6th or 7th of 2013. Uh, I, I know I can't keep up with the dates because uh, knowing that every video that I posted uh, for my Power Rangers Los Galaxy uh, fan film uh, channel that you're subscribing to if you're, you know, refusing to or not. Um, not every video that I uh, put up on this channel have to be up here, you know, every five days or seven days a week. It doesn't really matter what I, what video I, I upload regarding this fan film. It doesn't, it doesn't have a uh, upload date, so a, a release date. It just, I just release the videos whenever I want because most of the time now, um, You know what I mean. Um, I'm going to, here's something, uh, I wanted to tell you something that, um, why one person made a comment on one of the videos about why did I reject, why did I, uh, drop one of my favorite, uh, female villains from the show, this Power Ranger series from its you know, fan film adaptation that I'm doing it of. Right? Okay, the reason why I couldn't... I, I, the reason why I didn't want Trakina from, from, from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy and my fan film of it Not, see, what it, well, when I had the character in one of these projects before, and when I did go out and shoot these scenes following her, um, when I was trying to ask, uh, a few girls and a few female staff members at my former, uh, high school, like Gaithersburg, Gaithersburg High School, when I did do Power Rangers, uh, LG, The Rise of Trakina, right? Um, when I did that, I mean, when I did do that movie, in which you guys, you know, know that it doesn't exist because, you know, it was a, it was an afterthought and knowing that it was all, it was a fan film that was all in my head, um, featuring my favorite female villain from Power Rangers and, you know, even though she has a bug motif and knowing that a lot of girls, knowing that a lot of females, both girls and older women, both girls and adult women don't like insects because insects give them paranoia and fear and that's why they kill them and squish them and girls do get frantic when they see spiders or ants or mantises grasshoppers centipedes and all those bugs so that's why I think Trakina is a bit too you know I guess mal malfested for any of these women that are not into Power Rangers, never even watched it, to play this part. But the main reason was, well, I know this is not, this is not regarding my upcoming fan film of Power Rangers Souls Galaxy, which is considered a reboot, which you guys are subscribing to right now. Um, now, the, I, I tried to get to you people for those who have subscribed and for those who subscribe to my old channel, Anthony March One, um, I guess you guys don't because I know none of you guys know know nothing about me because I'm just somebody that's just illusionary. Well, I'm not as I'm not some sort of illusionist like uh, Chris Angel or anything. I'm just well. I think I had some criticism toward my version of uh, Trickina. For all of you Power Ranger fanboys out there that liked her since, you know, from Lost Galaxy, for those who liked it that season. I think my incarnation of Trakina, as far as my critical um, vision goes, I think I made my version of the character a bit too gothic, seductive, 
malfested, and a bit too scary. But it, 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 even though this is a this is a movie that I really wanted to make ever since I was well ten years old. And it's been 11 years since I've want, wanted to make a Power Rangers uh, Lost Galaxy movie. And um, it didn't, well, I didn't start wanting to make this movie ever since I was in high school. It's been way before my high school career happened in 2007 when I was in the, you know, starting in the ninth grade. It all started back in the fourth grade. I'll tell you about that sometime in a uh, future video after the fan film or before it is released. In full retrospective. Now I, I know I'm probably not going to want to show you my Trakina puppet that I made um, even though with the uh, well I don't think I want to but do you want to see it or what? Because I know you guys are I know you guys are some of you people are not going to like my fan film for using something that isn't actual people in costume or anything because it's not realistic because I'm not being realistic enough I'm not being materialistic enough artistic enough it's just uh, my artistic talent has been you know underappreciated and that's what really you know sucks about me it's just uh, there I, I have been criticizing myself about things and when people when I show people my you know my creative talent some people tend to like it, some tend to, you know, ignore, or mo but most of, the, most of the majority of people, as far as I see it, tend to ignore it. Because to be true, just be truthful, I am completely unappreciated, underappreciated toward a lot of people. Because a lot of people don't know me. So... I'm just saying that is I'm just saying as a fact because it's something I really wanted to do. You know, to you know, to show off my talent out here and on the site and everywhere else. But still I feel underappreciated. So Now, about I guess I'm just not cut out to do this movie making stuff. I've been wanting to do it ever since the 12th grade, ever since I took video production. I don't think I cut out making movies. I only made one short film but never made a feature, which took me years to make. And it's probably going to take me another 10 years to make it. It's not like I'm going to do this fan film by the time I turn like 30 or 50 or something. It's going to take me more years until like the day I die. It's just not everybody wants my help. so. Now, I just want to make a brief critical analysis about it. I mean, to you guys, you know, if you're going to get ready to start sending in negative comments, go right ahead, I don't care. Because I'm probably going to have to shut this fan film down because nobody wants my help. And knowing that my dad, you know, for the past two years, well, now three, four, what, I, don't, I don't care what the fuck. He's been bashing my ideal, idealistic idea of me making a Power Rangers movie, wanting it to be a five-minute movie and not longer than that. Because I had to put a lot of stuff into the, the movie, and even though the amount of stuff that I write about, you know, write within a screenplay, which I never got to do when I did the last fan film and the other one before, which was just more like a test. A test example of making a fan film. Because I, well, I didn't even know what a fan film is until I looked up the Wikipedia article for it. So. 
Now, I know the reason. Now, I had the. the I think the reason why I had. No, wait. I had to cut back Trakina from being in this Power Rangers fan film for a reason. Because, one, I have no f um, responses, feedback from any. Uh, anybody from YouTube. Well, a female that is, that is, is, or, is, or probably not a fan of Power Rangers who would probably like the villains, but probably not, or just not a fan of Power Rangers at all, because most of the girls, you know, because, you know, girls are different from guys, because guys are into superheroes. Some girls are into superheroes, but they're not. They're more into, you know, most of, you know, most of these, you know, movie fads that are out now, like, twi like the Twilight Saga and stuff, so I don't care. Twilight sucks, really. But, um... But if a girl came up to me and said Power Rangers suck, then I would get a, then I would get upset. Because I'm a guy and I've been a fan of Power Rangers since ever since I was a little boy. Ever since when I was a year old. So but, uh, Now, my now I I, I guys want to see this version of Trakina that I did, which is just the same puppet, but I had to put more layers of makeup on her just to make her look gothic and dramatic. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, um, it's just, the reason why I don't want her in this movie anymore is because one person that I gave the part to in the last fan film uh, I gave it to her, but she acted like she didn't care. Because I think the way, I think, well, the main problem, what attracted her was having the character bear cleavage. That was the pro that was probably one of the major problems of the character's uh, concept and the way how she looks. And, um, and also the, the, the amount of makeup I put her in her face. Because I, 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 I tend to make my version of Trakina look glamorous, but gothic and dramatic at the same time. And you know, you know, put some very operatic gothicness to her des design, character design. Even though I do not own the rights to the character or anything or anything affiliated with Power Rangers or Saban or anything, you know what I, you, you know where I'm getting at with that, right? But anyway, it's just, it's just I've been trying, I've been telling everybody about this for two years now. I, I mean, for those who tend not to understand where I'm, where I'm getting at with that, it's just. I spent two years brainstorming on how am I going to get her, how am I going to have somebody to play her, but nobody wants my help. I mean, if you want to give me advice of who should I cast for this part, put a comment on the bottom of the video page of this, you know, regarding this video and tell me who should, who should I choose to play Trakina if I did have her in my Power Rangers Lost Galaxy movie. If I mean I know the character is deceased in the TV show's continuity, but for a movie well, for reintroduction. I'm not talking about a celebrity, because celebrities are you know, knowing most celebrities in Hollywood, they're all into, you know, I'll get to that in another video or something. But anyway, just put a comment on the bottom of the page and tell me what I should do or because the next video that you're going to tune in right now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to what I'm up to next